uh, my WAN interfaces are uh, my WAN interfaces are for our two networks uh, remote networks are one this one here that's two that's three and that's four okay so I have four networks right so IP route 172 okay and for 16 I'm gonna use same exit interface but for the 12 I'm gonna use which is this network okay that's a remote network for R2 isn't it yep but I'm gonna use exit interface 0 and 20 I'm gonna use the same exit interface so, so theoretically let's let's count this okay Ooh, I'm missing one isn't it I forgot about this one here right oh, right let's put the IP root IP root 202 101 33 64 255 255 255 252 now from here to here I can either pick a 0 0 1 or a 0 0 0 I'm gonna stick with this 0 you know 0 okay or I can put actually let me put same interface but I'm gonna put but I'm gonna put look same interface I'm gonna say either exit from S00 or exit from S001 okay so I have additional root in here theoretically I should have nine but in here it should be ten isn't it let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so we have configured one two three routers okay now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna configure them uh, but I'm gonna pause this video since this is nearly one hour and uh, I'm gonna pause this video configure all of them hope you understand how uh, the networks you calculate remote networks and uh, if you have a good plan you can literally see your remote networks uh, with the topology right I'm gonna pause this and uh, let me co configure R3 R5 and headquarters and uh, let's start to check the connectivity okay right. okay so I have configured three routers uh, which is R3, R5, uh, HQ while video was uh, paused. Now, theoretically, uh, I want to say theoretically, uh, all our pink command should be successful because we have configured every single remote networks to the, uh, you know, that particular router so right let's check our connectivity uh, if I made any mistakes obviously uh, I have to troubleshoot okay now uh, let me start from server 1 well or the server to uh, let's say PC uh, in R1 yeah it is successful good server to PC let's say PC5 yep successful server to that should be successful um, sometime it might fail the first ping but uh, if you uh, ping the, the same interface again uh, it should be successful okay as you can see the pings are successful uh, let's go to our 
our uh, simulation mode, not the real time mode. Uh, click that button. ICMP, get rid of it. Let's create a packet PDU to this. Let's see how it goes. So it forwarded to HQ. HQ forward to R4 and R4 to there. Yeah. And from there to the is the same interface? Yeah, because we configure in the right way. Okay, let's see from here to here. Okay. Yeah, go there, go there, go there, and there, 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 there. Okay, successful, very good. Let's see. Okay. Whoa. This is without any routing protocol, everything done by, um, you know, administrator or it's me in this case. Uh, see, I got only five rotors. Is it five rotors? Three, six rotors. And I spent nearly one and a half hours to, uh, you know, configure everything, including planning and uh, labeling and everything. Let's say, let's say, let's say one hour. Think about uh, enterprise network, right? How root administrator should have really good understanding uh, about routers and static routing to you know configure let's say we have 800 routers for example you know just assume 800 routers can he do that no he can but it it would be loads of you know typing and loads of others you know managing network like that it's not going to be easy this is where routing protocols you know come handy if you configure routing protocol for example ospf rip or eigrp in these routers all you need is the directly net connected network for routing protocol you don't configure remote networks remote network configure in static routing okay so directly connect network you put that in there and ospf put that in there and ospf again and put the directly connect network and so on and router routers will exchange their directly connected network with these routers right it, within like couple of minutes it will exchange all their routing in um, directly connected networks to that, 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 and there. It will be converge. We call this converge or understand. It's a simple term. R1 has a good understanding about R3 remote network. Okay. This is where the routing protocols come handy because I spend nearly one and a half hours to configure this uh, small network. Okay. So if I ping from here to here, um, capture forward, yeah. Now, if you remember when I was configuring, um, when I was configuring my R2, I put additional route uh, to the same network from here to here, okay, via S01, right? What I'm going to do, I'm going to shut down this interface, right? Let's say, let's say, let's say I'm going to ping this one. Let's see which way it's sending the, right, it goes through there. Um, okay. I don't know whether it's automatically load balancing or the calculation must be, let's ping that again. Right, it's automatically load balancing. Can you see? Can you see that? Very good. Right. If I ping there again, you might use S01. Yeah. It's automatically load balancing. What I'm going to do now, well, if I shut down this port, it will send packet through that path. If I shut down this port, it will send packet through that. Let's shut down the uh, S00.